But to look your enemy in the eye, knowing you'll remember his face for the rest of your life, now that takes a stomach much stronger than you'll ever have. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, finally, back to our Star Trek Armada 3 Dominion playthrough. Oh my, it's about time that I did a bit more of this, isn't it? My apologies for leaving it so long. Let's just take a look around the map so I can re-familiarise you with where we were at. We found a couple of our friends. Uh, we found the Legio Talus. We've also found Task Force 7, who appear to be expanding very, very well. Our main concern at the moment, however, is the Klingon scum, the House of Duras. They are, in fact, the Klingon scum as well. As you can see, they have been fairly prolific in trying to invade our space, and it's something that we, as a uh, faction, need to deal with before we move on to anywhere else. Diplomatically, things are looking pretty okay. We have trade alliance with some, um, which is always useful for our pocket. In addition to that, with three of the races we have ceasefires so they won't be attacking us at least in the short term that gives us the opportunity to concentrate on the house of duras as you can see here we've got a small fleet which is going to be going in and hoping to mop up some of these klingons we have also very very recently taken orcrid i think without further ado we're going to get on with the match a Klingon can die but once. <laughs> As you can probably hear there, folks, we have managed to take a couple of Klingon ships for our own, which is always nice. Good way to augment the fleet. Thank you very much to the Janissary. Uh, let's see what we can do here. We need a little bit more cash. Move us to warp. Move us to warp. The old Shaq voice. Very nice. Have arrived. Oh dear, the my voice. Right, the first thing that we need to attack is uh, anything that is a heavy attacker of our stations. Uh, looks like there's a stalker over there, let's get on that first. And we do of course have Ulis Noor that is protecting the area. Right, the fleet is on the way in. Oh, there goes our healing station. How irksome. Let's replace it. Unable to build. Unable to build. So we're going to have to move that slightly over there. That seems fine. And this should... Oh, look at the explosions. Mop up the remainder of the Klingon fleet. <clears throat> They're not having a good time. Oh, wait, ooh. Founders are most wise in all things. Has leveled up. She's leveled. As has the real Golden Cat. By the way, if you guys are Twitter users, I would highly, highly suggest taking a look up uh, at the real Golden Cat Twitter account. It's absolutely hilarious. I'm like, I, you won't regret it. <laughs> there we go, folks. That is the Klingon Victory fleet wiped out. Ooh, we've even got more uh, upgrades. Life. Let's take a point in Unrivaled Cunning, and we will also take a point in... I think Dark Energy Cascade works very, very nicely. Let's grab the fleet. Uh, let's see what happens if we move to Akamaru. Uh, it does look like they've got a fair amount going on there. In addition to that, it might be a good idea if we continue any exploitation that we possibly can. I think I would like to get the Chimera Strike Cruiser. Let's get a Union Commerce Station over here. <clears throat> and we will upgrade our civic infrastructure so we can lose a little bit less money. Nice to see a couple of relatively high level cap ships. Move us to the Janissary being at level 6. Very nice. Oh, here we go. Let's follow Ducat in. Twill we find, I wonder. Our scouts have discovered a new world. Our fleet has 
units arrived. Let's see what the enemy have to Stand fight by. us with. Okay, they've got a reasonably sized fleet here. Um, Changing heading. Let's try and hold over here. And we'll try and uh, dominate the fight as much as we possibly can. Kern is here. Uh, it looks like Martok is also here, yes. Any sign of Garon? No. <laughs> Right, this alpha strike is going to be pretty mean. Good thing we're not worried about that, isn't it? I think our first target is going to be that level 5 Ravager. Actually, our first target is likely to be Martok. Having thought about it a little bit. He confers bonuses on the fleet. Nobody wants that. Let's go in for Martok. Let's quickly try and upgrade Oakrid to its next level. A can yeah. die but once. The enemy have definitely got more ships than us. Uh, now it's going to be a matter of working out who has got the better research. I think it's likely to be our enemies. Martok's just leveled up all by himself. How dare you? Awaiting your command. Will we lose our fleet? Okay, so we're going to be keeping an eye over here on the fleet supply. We've already lost a couple of units. Oh, they've got a brain. One of our colonies is apparently under siege. Alright. Martok's shields are down, but we are losing ships like the Clappers. That always happens with the Alpha Strike. Hopefully that isn't going to be a consistent feature of this battle. Martok's down to about half health, but look at the amount of fleet we are losing there. Klingons are doing a damn good job on us. Up to 52, we've lost a lot. Come on, take Martok out and then we can retreat if we need to. Alright, well done, Fleet. Your next target is Kern if we can find him. There he is. Transfer all power to weapons indeed. Let's improve our assault teams. The enemy are just bringing in too many ships for us to be able to make a dent here. We are probably going to have to retreat shortly. I don't want to lose any of my capital ships. But let's see if we can beat Kern first. Kern is damn near down. There goes Kern. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Let's take that Ravager down. Mm, it appears that Golducat has lost his shields. Okay, time to destroy that Corral. Boom, there she goes. Right, I think it's time to retreat from that fight now. Let's get back to Zosimus. Victory is at hand. Victory is at hand. But not quickly. <laughs> right, let's see what we can do in order to augment our fleet. Now, the first thing I think I should probably do is... I need another capital ship, and I think I need it to be a Kelder. Let's give ourselves that capacity, shall we? So let's make sure our fleet can escape. I think we'll be okay. I think everything that we want to escape is going to be able to do so. That's at least blunted the next assault by the Klingons. Uh, it certainly wasn't a victory for us. We lost a lot of ships there. Standing by. There you go. Our best capital ships have escaped. Let's move them over here. But we now have the capacity to make an additional cap ship. Let's do that. And uh, do we have the Kelvin research? We don't. Ooh, level two. How have I not done that? There we are. Okay. So let's grab ourselves a Kelden. Uh, what we'll do is we'll use that uh, the Kelden's armor buff in order to augment our fleet further. <clears throat> it's, it's times like this that I wish our I had the dread uh, because it would make us more tanky. 
Our scouts have discovered a new world. And it's hard not to want to be more tanky, isn't it? Uh, let's also uh, take the opportunity to improve our secondary shielding. Now, um, I think what I would like to do is try and get two more assault labs. I'd like Thotgore in the fleet, and I would also like to get some support from... Oh, hello. No, 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 no. Stay back here, stay back here. For too long, the Cardassians have yielded to the outrageous demands of the Federation. Let them come in, let them come in. Increasing engine right, first things first, try and get that stalker class, they're going to cause problems. <clears throat> All stations ready. Our One stalker class down, let's get the rest. I didn't expect an assault straight Our from the back side. of this. I'm impressed. Excellent, okay, go for the other stalkers. Garon's going to go down without any shadow of doubt. Ooh, bit of light. We will show them what happens to those who oppose the will of Cardassia. Keldon's complete. Let's bring it in. Looks like we have... Oh, no. Adjusting course. Hello. Task Force 12. Pleasure to see you here. Right, there's our Keldon. Let's first give Armoured Warfare, what shall we? Start by targeting the Stalker. Wayun is looking a little bit devoid of health at the moment. Better weapon systems, please. This loss is a great setback for the Federation. Is it indeed? <laughs> Sorry that the Federation is sad. What will you have me do? Oh, wait, oh, no, you're taking a pasting run. My brave Jem'Hadar soldiers, the founders are most pleased, most pleased indeed. I think Wayu might actually go down here. Our scouts have discovered a new Awaiting your command. Really didn't want to lose Wayne. But he seems to be the entire focus of our enemy's ire for him. The right, one thing that might be nice to look at is let's look at the relationships of House Duras, shall we? Oh, damn. They're allied with Task Force 12 who have allied against me. Oh, that's going to be a problem. <clears throat> Wayun's almost certainly going to die at this point. Uh, I cannot see a possibility of him surviving this. Let's try and get a second level of weapons. Because Lord knows we're going to need it. We also need more ships. But cash flow is going to be a problem. Standing by. Wayun's just about to pop. There he goes. There goes Wayun. Damn. Engaging at maximum level. What can, what can we do against such reckless hatred? Build more turrets. Awaiting your command. <laughs> That's what we can do against such reckless hatred. Well, the cat is about to be lost. There he goes. Our Janissary isn't long for this world. Our Keldon is suffering huge hull damage. Oh my. Can Ulis Noor survive this? My brave Jem'Hadar soldiers. They might be brave, but they're certainly not winning, are they? Pleased indeed. 
Looks like we're doing okay over here for the moment. That is a very, what very large enemy fleet. Oh, perhaps I shouldn't have poked the bear. I'm not just any Cardassian. Cosmic Gamer, thank you so much for subscribing. Probably needed that. Looks like the feds are off. Uh, the feds are going to go and do something else. That might aid in our survival. All right. The founders in you get. And all the things. Um. Our metal reserves are low. Work the miners to death if you must. Yes, indeed. Work the miners to death. Oh my, Ulis Noor, you are the only thing holding us at the moment. We really need to get oppressive regime. As we can see, our planet is being bombed somewhat. <coughs> Uh, let's grab oppressive regime as quickly as possible. Uh, let's also grab the energy dissipation field. Anything that we can do that is going to aid in the survivability of Uyas Nor is just a good idea. My brave Jem'Hadar soldiers, the founders are most pleased. Amazingly, it does appear that the Tempest is alive at the moment. All those that can, by here. Come on, Lulis Nor, you absolute beast. There's Martok again. Doesn't look like he's got his maximum upgrade at this point for that particular class of ship. Uh, that pleases me immensely. So there is a stalker back there. Let's grab all of our ships, go for the stalkers. Dark energy cascade, we could definitely do with one of those. Take pragmatic defences as well. <clears throat> Explosions are real. <laughs> we must not allow this to transpire. Okay, it sounds like when I signed the Pact of Alliance with the Dominion, <laughs> I pledged to my people that all things Cardassian will once again be ours. The gull is here. The gull is angry. Uh, let's grab some more metal reserves. More weapon systems, please. Your command. Adjusting Any who can, pull yourself back towards the station. I think I would like to try and get another healing station, maybe even two. Unable to build. Maybe not. There we are, and more turrets. Always more Cardassian turrets. Awaiting your command. It does, however, seem that the enemy have got more stalker Central classes. All right, push back forward. Well, let's take those stalker classes out. Because she's going to fall. Oh no, this could be the end of our campaign. It really could. I suspect that if Ulus Nor falls, then we're going to be in such trouble that we're going to be incapable of winning. Are they retreating? Is Ulus Nor saved?
Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are saved. The enemy are retreating. They've lost too many ships. Oh, look at the health of Ulis. No, she is so low. Standing by. Wayun has leveled up again. What an absolute beast. Come on, keep healing her up. Keep healing Ulus Noor. Uh, let's try and increase the weapon damage on the Noor station. Keep your eyes on anything that could damage her like these. Go, go, go. For too long, we Cardassians have yielded to the outrageous demands of the Federation and its allies. We need to keep an eye on the health of these uh, ships as well. Anything that's a Stalker class, they're the things that really need to be taken out. Another level for Weyun, he's now level 5. The founders are most pleased. <laughs> founders are indeed most pleased. Let's try and get ourselves back a little bit. Okay, let's try and outproduce them. And the way to outproduce them is all scarabs, baby. Our metal reserves are low. There you go, 26 you scarabs coming in. How's your health doing? Okay, it is increasing. Weyun Af is once again taking a pasting. Can we get more turrets? Uh, if we have more metal. More turrets, please. <laughs> Our death is glory to the founders. Right, there we go. We've pulled a lot of ships into the catchment area Our of death our turrets. Is glory to the founders. Right, turn us around, kill anything that you possibly can. There goes the enemy of Ravenous. Turn next, please. Is glory to the Falcon. Wow, this is such a defensive war. Unbelievably defensive war. Is there anything more that we can do in order to help ourselves? Maybe we can get a third hell healing station back here. What will you have me do? Here we go, we've got ships coming in now. The Magnificent Gull has leveled up. Uh, let's give him a Bentar Squadron. And we will also take True Survivalist. We exist to serve the Dominion. Let's see how the health on Ulis Nor is. It's acceptable. Setting a course. Over here there is a Stalker class, however. And we know how dangerous they are to any of our static emplacements. We're winning, folks. We are winning. We exist to serve the Dominion. And yet the enemy are bringing more in. Our death is glory to the powers. Our death is glory to the powers. We are prepared. There goes Kern. Let's try and kill Martok off. Awaiting your command. We will know the glorious might of Cardassian. Oof. We exist to serve the Dominion. Let's grab a tractor beam, why not? Founders on the lines and all things. Phase polar on burst. When I sign the pack of More true survivalist Dominion. skill. I pledge to my people that all things Cardassian would once again be ours. 
We have survived the onslaught, ladies and gentlemen. That, folks, was utterly, utterly terrifying. We exist to serve the Dominion. We do have an enemy Norway class coming in here. Uh, it seems to be just a probing we attack. I think what I might do is I might just try and get my Our fleet over here. Is glory to the founders. Holy sausages. <laughs> Let's try and get ourselves a couple of military Our maps. Is glory to the founders. Because that's what we were talking about getting at the start of this episode. Our uh, reinforcements have arrived. You would like having our enemies at this kind of difficulty. Oh, and look at that. Ulis Nor is rebuilding. Let's take another level in energy dissipation field. Maybe another level in oppressive regime. <coughs> uh, yeah, I'll give you ship vision. Absolutely. No problem at all. You do what you want to do. Let's see what the ship vision looks like. Right, it looks like we've got a relatively useful ally in the form of... Oh, hello. Oh, oh, lag, 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 lag. A lot of New Orleans classes here. Have hmm. The Romulans are losing this war, doubtlessly. That is uh, something of a shame. Task Force 7 are my enemies we too. Under attack. We must respond. Good amount of ships uh, with the Klingons here. Our uh, is under siege. So the House of Mikoch, uh might be okay. We are prepared. And a lot of enemies are now turning up at our doors. We exist to serve the okay, so what we're going to need to do now is we are going to need to uh, see about getting defences on the go in this next area. Oh, dearie me. What a match this is turning out to be, folks. What a match. We exist to serve the Dominion. All right, if you want to we fight, we'll fight. Battle to reclaim our lives. We are yours to command. So we shouldn't have really chosen the Archangel here as our primary target. Their survivability does tend to be very, very good. I think it might... Oh, fiddlesticks. Understood. Back the fleet comes. I'm quite sure they knew. <laughs> another roll... Another level in pragmatic defences, please. See, we've got those stalker classes firing on us again. Oh my. We are under attack from two directions. Both the Federation, Task Force 7, oh no, it's Task Force 12, uh, and indeed the Klingons in the form of the filthy, the disgusting House of Duras want our blood. We are massively on the defensive. Our fleets are outmatched, but our defenses so far have held. Will they continue to hold in the next episode? Well, that is something that you are going to have to watch to find out. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed this terrifying Dominion playthrough, then I am going to need you to hit the like button. I'm going to need you to comment on whether you think I'm going to win or not. If you think I'm going to lose, tell me in the comments, uh, and I will refute your arguments with... probably losing. <laughs> But nonetheless, I, I would really, really like that kind of level of support. Uh, I'm always looking to get more views on my videos as well. Um, so if you would be willing to share this video uh, across your various social media platforms, the little share button at the bottom there, um, that would be absolutely fantastic because the, the more views we get, the more it uh, encourages me to do the next episode faster. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today. Make sure that you take a look at the description below in this video and check out some of my links. I've got an excellent link to my Discord, which is a great community Discord I want you to be a part of. And I've also got a couple of other links uh, to various other things that you may be interested in. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the girl. Terrified. Worried. Concerned. And out. <laughs>